8,000, 150,000, 7, and 10. 8,000, the number of platelets I had left in my body. Ladies and gentlemen, 150,000 is the number of platelets the average human has normally. Seven. Every seven years, I lose exactly one year of my life, and I have to start all over again. Ten. Ten months. The amount of time that's passed since I started walking again for the first time. These numbers all represent an untimely illness I suffered just last year, which landed me in the hospital for an extended period. I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease called ITP, which stands for idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura. I experienced a multi-system shutdown and I almost died. I almost lost my life. I wasn't aware of just how dire my situation was at the time. I was just trying to focus on staying alive from day to day. I suffered a brain injury as well and had to rely on my village to carry me literally until I could regain the strength in my legs and feet to walk again. I lost my freedom as an independent person. I lost my vision temporarily. I had extreme sensitivity to light and sound. I lost the ability to care for myself or even barely lift my head suffering from the worst migraine headaches you can imagine. My mother became my personal nurse. I felt like such a burden on her. I had to move in with her for a while. I went to so many doctor's appointments last year and spent countless hours in physical therapy relearning basic skills due to my autoimmune disease. My primary doctor insisted I take a closer look at my mental health. As I began the healing process with doctors treating different parts of my body, no one was treating my mental health. I didn't even realize I'd become a resident of depression. He was right. My mind was ill. I wasn't thinking healthy thoughts. I, I thought, I felt like I was losing my mind, being trapped in a body that I couldn't move. One day I woke up and I picked up my canvas and a brush and I simply began painting without any direction. I painted for a few hours each day as my strength allowed. This would be the life-saving healing therapy that I needed. Each day I felt better, stronger mentally. I knew that if my mind was healing, my body was coming along for the ride. I was going to physical therapy each day. I began walking better and with more confidence. Finally, I could breathe again. Unbeknownst to me, I was experiencing the healing effects of art therapy. Now, I use art therapy and healing arts as an investment in my own personal health and well being. Art therapy is the most natural form of therapy. It doesn't require medication nor verbal communication. All it takes is an open mind and a willingness and desire to create, to access your healing. The goal is simply to improve your overall sense of well-being. Just for a moment, imagine yourselves as a rubber band ball where all the individual rubber bands represent your complex thoughts and feelings, a mixture of emotions. The creative outlets of healing arts and art therapy can allow you to unravel and even detangle that ball, leading to greater clarity, accessing better mental health. Art therapy and healing arts can allow you to feel and to become more self-aware, to build your self-confidence, 
to heal the past hurt and trauma suffered over a lifetime and access your healing. Now, here's where I'll share even more personal experience with you. Art helps the brain build new pathways. Definitely helped me build my new pathways. New pathways help us process traumatic events and find new solutions to problems. Art therapy can be as simple as doodling or even drawing with your eyes closed or even painting with colors that calm you. It may also be as complex as drawing a mandala, which utilizes the left and the right sides of the brain. Drawing a puzzle and naming each piece, identifying the many pieces of you. Practicing traditional forms of art, such as drawing, painting, crafting, or even pottery, all matter. It's about how you express yourself that helps you heal. The aesthetic doesn't matter. Georgia O'Keeffe writes, I found I could say things with color and shapes that I couldn't say any other way, things I had no words for. Art transforms pain into beauty. So allow me to encourage you to be open and keep an open mind to become more self-aware. Take care of what's happening inside of you. Be intentional with your self-care and be consistent with it. For it will surely lead you to live a happier, healthier life. Some people are outgoing, external processors. They thrive in social settings. Others are introverted, internal processors. And in social settings, they retreat, shut down, and become easily overwhelmed but art levels the playing field. It balances out the scales, giving those who are less equipped with social skills the ability to express themselves. You'll be able to feel more calm, relieve stress, and focus on the task at hand. You'll be in a more stable state of mind to process thoughts and feelings. I'll take you on a little journey here. I first began painting and exploring art as a child in the first grade at the behest of my amazing art teacher, Ms. Julie Strabel at Clark Elementary in Detroit, Michigan. She saw a little spark in a little black girl and began to feed it and cultivate it until it became a flame, giving me access to the world of art she would take me to the Detroit Institute of Arts Museum every Monday after school for art club. This exposed me to every form of art you can imagine. From then on, I was hooked on art. I would go on to study architecture throughout high school and into college, attending the historically black college, Tuskegee University. Fast forward to 2017. I began taking my art more serious when my son left for college and suddenly I became an empty nester. No one told me how hard empty nesting would be. And I kind of lost my identity when he left. You see, for 17 years, it had only been the two of us. And I had to, I had to figure out my own path forward, but I fell into a deep depression. My family it really encouraged me to do something that I loved, to take my mind off my empty house. So one day, I picked up a few supplies and began painting. This experience would usher me back to my first love, my journey back to art. Not knowing this would also lead me into art therapy and healing arts. Art therapy has the power to change not only my life, healing me from things that I never thought I'd experience, from being extremely ill with my autoimmune disease to recovering from my brain injury, battling depression, 
and even through empty nesting. Now that you guys know my story, try art therapy and healing arts for yourselves. Allow it to heal you to access your healing. I know what art therapy can do. I'm a living witness. I'd like to encourage each of you to just take a moment and look within, tap into all of the trauma that you've experienced in life. And then think about how you can see yourself healing from that simply by creating. It really is a beautiful experience. Before I go, I'd like to leave you with three affirmations. If you don't mind, take your hand, place it over your heart, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out and repeat after me. I am stronger than my problems. Take a deep breath in and out. I am calm. Take a deep breath in and out. I am creative. Thank you.